because today was, it was a lot. It was a stressful day for ASB senators as a draft of the resolution was passed around online before it was ready to be seen by the public. The resolution proposed to make Ole Miss a sanctuary for undocumented community members. It had not made it through the formal processes required before debate on the Senate floor. It was two completely different problems coming together as one to kind of make this an overall issue. The resolution caused a buzz on social media, and at the meeting last night in this classroom, author Alan Kuhn apologized for things getting out of hand. You know, today caused a lot of stress uh, in a very busy period of time for, for all students. The formal resolution was struck down from debate at the meeting, but ASB officials made sure to remind senators of the process. And it's trying to figure out, like, why was this, why was it rushed? Like, why do you feel like you have to do it now? You know, this resolution was intended to uh, ensure that the university took actions to protect un undocumented, uh, undocumented community members before uh, Donald Trump was um, sworn in as president. Yesterday afternoon, Chancellor Vitter released a statement saying he is aware of what the resolution is asking of the university. Um, I, I was pleasantly surprised by the chancellor's uh, statement, um, particularly uh, when he made note of the fact that there, um, he has a duty, as does the university, the state, and so on and so forth, to follow the laws. Um, of the state, this country, and the land as a whole. Dr. Vitter's response was unsatisfactory. I think it was focused much more on placating to the concerns of um, you know, the far conservative wing of the Mississippi legislative branch. Kuhn does plan to bring a more carefully revised version to the ASB for debate after Christmas break. The resolution was just one avenue to begin this conversation, which we, we certainly intend to continue into next semester. Peyton Green, Newswatch, Ole Miss.